Upload your character to Mixamo or choose one and select an animation. Import your character animation into Blender. Select all keyframes and move them forward to create some buffer before the animation begins. On the first frame, select your rig and switch to pose mode. Hit Alt-R and Alt-G to reset the rig to its default T-pose and set a keyframe for the location and rotation. We now have an animation that transitions from a T-pose to its animation smoothly over 40 frames. The first frame of the T-pose will be used in Marvelous Designer to add clothing on a neutral pose. Click on the rig and on your model and apply rotation on both. Select your rig and your model and go to File, Export and Export as an Alembic dot ABC file. In Marvelous Designer, import your character by going to Import and select Alembic. Find your exported file and make sure the frame rate is correct and leave the other settings as they are. Design your custom garment for your character or import a garment you previously made. The simple Batman suit was designed using these sewing patterns. Depending on your machine, you may need to adjust the particle distance of your garment pieces if the simulation is taking a long time. In the top right corner, switch from simulation to animation and change playback from frame stepping to real time. The cloth is now ready to simulate. Click the record button on the bottom left and wait for your animation to play out. This may take a while to simulate depending on your GPU. If your simulation is crashing or taking a long time, go back to the simulation page and adjust the particle distance of your garments in their properties. Values below 10 will give you more realistic details, but will take longer to simulate. Set any small pieces to a value below 10 and larger pieces between 10 and 20. When the simulation is complete, you can preview it and get ready for export. Back on the simulation page, select all your garment pieces and go to File, Export and select Alembic, Ogawa. Select Unweld, Thin, and make sure your frame rate is correct and export. Back in our Blender scene, import your simulated cloth by going to Import and select Alembic. Find your exported cloth file and import into your scene.
apply materials and textures to your garment. Hit Tab to go into edit mode. Hover your mouse over different pieces of the garment and hit L to select those pieces and apply separate shaders to them. You can greatly improve the look of your cloth by adding a subdivision surface and solidify modifiers. After some work on the shaders and lighting, you can now create a scene with realistic simulated cloth. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more breakdowns and tutorials in the future. Here are some more examples of cloth scenes simulated using this quick process. Thanks for watching.